Up number three, FaZe versus Fnatic, and we are heading to the one and only King's Row. And Huck, Fnatic has had a whole lot of success on King's Row in recent times, especially if you go back and look at what they did at DreamHack. Yes, they have, and I think they're even more advantageous here, but we're going to have some interesting picks from FaZe, and we're going to see if they're going to be able to bust them with this Widowmaker oh, and with that Lucio <laughs> and that uh, Genji. All right, so for FaZe, there's plan is straightforward here. Coming through the front, gives Shadowburn time to work through the back. Fnatic, of course, they're known for having an iron defense here on King's Row, so we'll see how they deal with this opening salvo here from FaZe. Fnatic, arguably one of the best defenses of King's Row in the game. And for now, they're rotating back. They're letting FaZe move in through the hotel, and they're just really biding their time. But there's a charge in from Scoop. Going to be setting up Buds as he comes in from the back line, and too easy, just surrounded on all sides. Yeah, Buds coming in very strong. They're getting a very close shot and killing two almost three they're doing a lot of damage i like the positioning of phase i think they had the right idea but unfortunately they didn't have enough health on that shield to really get into a prominent position and constantly being flanked being forced into that small corner really hurt them fanatic has some of the smartest movement you can find when it comes yes. to this first point king's row defense they knew exactly what phase is going for and then they said okay we're just gonna split it up attack them from both sides and there was very little that phase really had in the tank to deal with that now phase of course they don't have much of a way of ult, you're looking for two, but here he goes, Stoop diving in, gets the nano boost, swings the hammer, finds two before it can even begin, and FaZe is going to get B, getting pushed back. Yeah, Shadowburn barely going down there, he is the closest to his ultimate at 88%, Rockus only at 50%, where on the other side, Custa's already used a nano boost and is almost back at 20%, I think that's primarily because the fights have been so clean, Rockus really hasn't had the time to keep his team members up, but we'll see what they have to bring to this fight. Well, right now, Shadowbird will be looking at the Dragon Blade up in this fight. Just needs to land one or two more shurikens to do just that. Fnatic, they're bending back right now. Have not given up any picks early on. They even get hooked and they're able to hold it back. But here comes Shadowbird into the back line. Eats the Earth Shatter instead. And Buds with the immediate punish. Very disciplined is this Fnatic squad right now. Is Buds going to use Whole Hog to clean up the rest of phase and push them back? Yeah, great job by Stoop. It's not the first time we've seen it in this matchup where he is completely prepared for Shadowbird. He pulls out the blade and in his immediate taken down. I would love to see a little bit more coordination out of Zoms with the bubbles to make sure he can keep him up, but a great hook. Zoms is going to be in trouble, and he pulls the trigger before he goes down. That was well timed by Buds. He knew Zoms is going for the Groudton, and now here comes the counter. Cool out the Groudton in the zone. Pulls in three members of FaZe. FaZe investing so much into this fight. They do the later sound barrier, though, which gives them a little bit more durability. 5v5. Fnatic has not won this fight here just yet. They are winning the poke war ever so slightly, but this is gonna be rough. This phase is gonna get the reinforcements a little bit quicker. Here comes Too Easy, looking for that important hook. Gonna get slept instead. Well met by Custa. Yeah, Custa being on so much today with those sleep darts. And what an earth shatter from Snoop. Knocks down three, is epical. Blows them all to smithereens. Fnatic just playing this so exceptionally well right now. And that has to be rough for FaZe, given how much they invested into that fight, Huck. Yeah, not only did Custa hit that sleep dart, but Factor Fiction actually had one of the better Earth Shadows of this match, knocking three members down, having the Nano Boost, charging one of Fnatic's squad, almost pinning them, and then at the last second, actually, Custa hit a sleep dart there, too, and saved one of his team members. So great job by this Fnatic squad being so very coordinated. Well, for FaZe here, this might be their very last push. Only 35 seconds remain until Fnatic gets that vaunted first point Hold and phase looking for that early pick. Too easy, not successful here just yet. But here comes Buds, Buds forsaken, and that is massive for Fnatic as only 19 seconds remain, Huck. Yeah, it's Stoop getting a great charge once again, knocking out a member, keeping him completely out of the fight, getting that extra ultimate charge. And you can see at the top right, the top left, 10 seconds left, they don't have much to go on. They just have to roll right in. Chavern's gonna have to just throw this bomb out and pray, and that's what he's doing. Takes to the skies, not nerfing this just yet, just gets on it, but there's the counter demon self-destruct and three members of phase already down and this initiation phase not doing what they want they have to for a miracle but all hopes fading swiftly yeah and phase just having a lot of trouble fanatic a great iron defense here on king's row and as you said traditionally they've been great on this map this is Fnatic's home turf now and it kind of makes sense because they've been boot camping a whole lot in london uh, as of late so either way this is no longer just a one-off thing. Yeah. We saw this back at DreamHack versus NIP. We're seeing it here versus FaZe. 
fanatic, you do not want to fight them on King's Row. I think that is very safe to say now. And that would be interesting actually going into the finals because Envious have had trouble traditionally on King's Row. So that if they get that map in the finals, that could spell like almost an auto win for Fnatic at least one map. If nothing else, I think Fnatic would be far more competitive on King's Row versus Envy than what we saw in other series in this tournament. So either way, now what do we have to see here from FaZe? I feel like FaZe, I mean, they got to take a chance, right? I would love to see some Symmetra play. I mean, you're going for a full hold. There's no one that really dives that home more than Symmetra. On the other hand, I really don't know how comfortable FaZe are. When we see Fnatic flex on all these roles, I feel like on FaZe's side, they're, they're not able to adapt quite as much. You do have people on this squad that are very talented and can play many roles, but it comes down to practice, right? If you haven't practiced it, you're not going to want to whip it out in the semifinals and do a good, like a crazy symmetric play. You're not envious. You're not there just yet. Absolutely. And just to be clear, we're talking about practice. Yes. Practice. <laughs> practice. <laughs> Oh, man. So. I'm glad we both kind of follow yeah, sports. Uh, yeah, just degree. a little bit. Yeah. And, and I had to make that just as awkward as possible, too. <laughs> just like, I, I cannot deliver with any near the delivery. Stick but the take a Can look here. Coming out here from Fnatic Vontel. Probably not going to be looking for the Widowmaker, but half a cool very well could come out in the Hanza. We've seen it from in the past. If he does want to look for that early pick to let Fnatic take this a little bit easier, but not too many targets for him here, Hawk. Yeah, I would love to see it. I think they have a lot of room to work with, especially once they know, like, hey, we had a full defense. He might just throw an arrow, see what's on the field, and then kind of go from there. And it looks like exactly what he's going to do. He's going to switch up here. Let's see what he gets on. He gets back onto the traditional diva. They say, you know what? It worked once. It's going to work again. Four tanks. Here we go, boys. And they could get a very strong engagement here and just dive on them. The interesting thing is that how they're engaging this, well, it was looking like FaZe instead. They get out of the hotel, come back in the other way. But it's a quick sleep dart at the expense of Fnatic. It's going to put them on the back foot. But look at this. Monto gets on the Zombs. It's an early pick. And now 5v5. This is not bad for Fnatic, especially if Buds can just find one more. Yeah, 5v5 indeed. And that's an advantage of the attacking side, I want to say. But as we say that, Happy Cool does get hooked in. He's able to stay up. Great job by Stoop to initiate that fight. He's been hitting every charge, and they've been on so on point. Cool Matt hitting the bubble. Not too early, not too late. Keeping him up for as long as possible. But not going to get that key hook to start things off. FaZe countering right away. But here comes Stoop. But he charges him, but there's the Earth Shatter coming in for Fact of Fiction. Knocks down two to start things off. It's not enough, though. Cool Matt punishes him for that Earth Shatter as he's going in very deep. 39% charge, finds Zombs, and it's a trade out here from both teams, but that still favors Fnatic if they can reset quickly, Huck. Yeah, and it looks like that's exactly what they're gonna do. And on the face side, they did have to burn that Lucio ult on Fnatics. He's about to have it. Bonifil, the main shot caller for Fnatic squad, the leader of them, has his drop the beat. They're gonna have a big opportunity here to seal out this map. This is Fnatic's chance to win King's Row right here, right now. They will not get a better chance, and with Bonifil leading the way this could be big here comes fanatic going forward will this beat get dropped here it's looking likely they're not doing it just yet they're trying to win the shield war but once they do that they're gonna throw all their resources into this fight they cool Matt just got the grouts on there it is the sound bear comes out late cool Matt is down that could have been a mistake but the self-destruct half a cool making up for it taking down two and here comes fanatic yeah they're down two members phase not really having the numbers here shadowburn's gonna try to stay on the point it looks like bud's gonna pop it he's gonna go off. It's not going to be a big diva bomb. Bud's actually getting another pick on Rockus, and you got to think Shadowburn's going to be the last member, and he's not going to have enough. They're going to start capping this point, and it looks like another map for Fnatic. FaZe right now will get a chance to try and go for the Miracle. They are staggering back in, but it is easier said than done. Two-thirds have been kept by Fnatic as Stoop gets the Nana Boost once more. Starts swinging the hammer. It's a backline. It drops the hammer. Three people getting knocked down. Setting up the rest of Fnatic. Oh. Back for Fiction. Bringing it back. Did he do it? That was a great Earth Shatter from him getting three. He, he got three, and he's looking for a little bit more right now. FaZe starting to stagger back into that point. Too easy, of course, on the Tracer. Trying to dart around. He's had heroics here before. But it is still going to be very rough. But Fnatic is actually getting yeah, they're backing up. Cuts is deep. He's behind the Reinhardt. Gets on the other side. Shadowburn's very deep as well. It looks like they're going to both reset a minute left at the very last second. FaZe Clan were able to defend. And this, they don't have ultimates. FaZe has the advantage here. That was an excellent comeback. It was a very excellent comeback. And Zom says Graviton. That could be the dagger here to have a drop strong. What a sleep start. And then the Graviton. Four people pushed in. The Big Bang coming out. Doing all sorts of terrible damage to the Fnatic backline. But I do wonder here, Huck, 
was it too early for FaZe to use all that? Because Fnatic, they still have 35 seconds and a whole lot of ultimates coming up. Yeah, this is going to be very close. It's going to be down to the wire this last fight. They're going to have five ultimates Stoop being the only one that not has it. On the other side, FaZe do have four. They have room to make a combo. Will it be enough, though? They cannot get wiped anymore. There is no coming back if they lose this fight. All right, this is going to be fireworks here on both sides. Half does have a Diva self-destruct. Pulse Bomb comes in from Matt to start it off. There's the sound bear in from Fnatic. Fnatic and Forsaken, and Forsaken's taken down early, so Fnatic with that early pickoff, all hands on deck, time running out, who's going to take this? It is back and forth, it's 5v5. Can they do it? 5v5, there's no more time, they gotta stay on the point, OT ticks out, they're forcing phase, Earth Shatter comes out, hits one, it looks like Fnatic got an advantage, a slight advantage here, Shadowburn kind of getting on the minor health card. I don't know if it's gonna be enough. I'm not sure it's gonna be enough either. Cool Man on the Tracer still keeping the dream alive. Half a cool on the point. It is a brawl. 2v2! Both teams fighting for survival. 2v2! Shadowburn teams! This is craziness here as Fnatic, they're gonna oh, do, they're gonna it. do it. it! They take it in a thriller! Fnatic takes King's Row up 2 1 in the series. Crazy. Crazy match. You gotta really think about how that played out. I saw the Nano Blues come on to Factor Fiction. He couldn't do much with it though. The deep, you know, their coach has dug up some VODs and said, hey, I have seen this has worked. I know you guys haven't practiced it, but it's a lot better if you practice something for an hour or two and you already have a concept of what works than going into it, you know, bare bones, the whiteboard, and saying, I have no idea what we're gonna do. Exactly. So we will be seeing phase here on the defense first. So if Fnatic's gonna have an iron defense, we'll have to wait until they're yeah, we don't want to say anything too soon. Exactly. Get ahead of ourselves. Uh, we don't want to hype you guys up because we're already too hyped. But it's interesting to see Zom's actually on Soldier. They're saying, you know what, maybe we're expecting that Farrah. Well, if they're expecting that Farrah, they very well might be right. Happy Cool still showing that Farrah to start things out here for Fnatic. And we'll see how effective it is. Farrah actually, a lot of cool things she can do on Volskaya, especially in terms of knocking people off. Good defensive positioning with those concussive blasts. Yeah, and it looks like as soon as he gets some room, he's gonna actually move back and take his time. It looks like he's, whatever he saw, he wants to go back, pick that D.Va. It's gonna be interesting how that plays out. I guess they saw the soldier and said, you know what, let's not do that. I think you're exactly right. I think they saw Zoms and said, you know what, we're actually not gonna play that game once more. Instead, Fnatic uh, being actually relatively unchallenged as they come up here. I'm not sure I actually like how FaZe is playing this right now. They're giving Fnatic any engage they want. And the idea oh. is that they can drop down and contest it, but I am not convinced on this. Early hook coming out here oh, from the side Fnatic, putting Zombs in a rough, rough position. He just has to run away, will actually run away. Great support coming in from Rockets to keep him up. A lot's going on. Buds on a rampage in the back, picks down two, and this point might be as good as gone. Yeah, it looks like Zom's gonna even a little bit, getting one pick himself. He's lucky to be alive. Bud's doing a good amount of damage, gonna pop this Diva. Diva Baby gonna be in the back, gets picked off by Custa, and it looks like this is gonna be an early point for Fnatic. Going back to your point about positional play. It made sense to keep the high ground. You forced the opposite team down onto the point, but they had a great D.Va flank. Happy Cool came up from the behind, pushed Buds off, and that's exactly what you're looking for. Luckily, Buds had the support. His team kept him up, but he was in a really dangerous position being so far into that Fnatic lineup. Well, once Zombs got pushed off like that, he really just had the run away, could not offer damage, and everyone's focused on Zombs. By the way, here's Buds' back line, but here we go. Fnatic with momentum. This is arguably their best chance to take yes. point B. This is a hard Hard, hard point to take, but they have a big ultimate advantage. They're moving in. Here comes Snoop. Swings the hammer. Powered up. Moving into the back line. It's oh. three unanswered kills by Fnatic. And could this be the Fnatic dream? A quick second point cap might very well be on the way. Yeah, and this hurts a lot for Volskaya having that clean sweep. It doesn't look like they're going to get back on the point. We saw them do it on King's Row. Can they do it here? I don't think they're going to be able to get on it. And no, Fnatic. Barely taking that point. You can see Factor Fiction. You can see Too Easy trying to touch it, but that's a that's a big, big win. That's not just big. That's devastating. That is a gut punch yeah. in the biggest of ways. That's the type of thing where even as a lesser player, if you're not it's not lesser, but I'm more casual player playing in competitive I'm ladder, like that happens to you, and you're just oh my god, what is going on? We are losing this match. Well, on a lesser level right now, Fnatic absolutely. Uh, 
feeling really good about this and FaZe feeling not so good at all about that situation. That's as good as it gets. Yes. That is, and the thing is, when you look at maps like Volskaya, you have that second point. It's so close to the defense's spawn point, you need a clean sweep. And as you said, the best chance, the best opportunity for that is when you have an ultimate advantage. And luckily for Fnatic, they won the first fight and they snowballed that into the second point and executed absolutely beautifully. And that's the key with Assault Maps, is that your best chance of taking point B is oftentimes off a very, very strong point A attack. And because their point A attack was so crisp, did give them such an advantage, they were able to pile it on through, nano boost stoop, FaZe had no answer to it early on. They ended up losing three people because while they're worrying about stoop, here comes the D.Va explosion in the back. And now FaZe, they have to deal with Fnatic's iron defense here on point A. And even if they get through it quickly, Taking point B it's gonna be on hard. a map like this is no picnic. Yeah, and it's going to be very difficult. And when we look at the two teams, we look at their styles, we look at their preparation, we always assume that Fnatic <laughs> are going to be a little bit more prepared. Uh, you can see D.Va here munching on some Doritos, playing some games. I think that's a Viking. Yeah, that's a Viking. Have you ever played that game? The last fight. There's yeah. like a, a SC2. There was like a uh, mini game. Yeah, yeah. There's a little mini game. Yeah, quite fun. Shout out to all the StarCraft 2 players. You know me. Shadowburn gonna be on this. Genji's gonna be looking for a lot of room. I mean, FaZe staying tried and true to their lineup. They wanna be exploding onto this point. If they can get a big win, they do have a chance of taking that second point as we discussed. It'd be very big, and they're all coming in here through the high ground to the right, and Fnatic also not challenging. And neither team, well, Fnatic's giving them a little bit more pressure over the top, but yeah, even Falling still, back. they're weren't really trying to challenge them as they came in, and in fact, FaZe just slowly marching <laughs> forward. This is very it's, interesting. It's, it's very dangerous because of that. You could get dumped right into the icy waters of Volskaya, but Shadowburn finds Vonathil off of the knockback, gets right in, throwing all sorts oh. of damage into the soldier. Coolman having to run away, and Coolman very lucky to get away with his life here, but it is a 5v6 right now, and Fnatic, Iron Defense no, having trouble keeping it together here in Volskaya as FaZe comes in strong. Yeah, he's gonna get Custa here, he picks him, finds two, finds three, it looks like they're gonna have a slight advantage, Happy Cool getting that debuff, gets put to sleep, a great job by Rock is knocking him down, keeping his team up at the same time, and it looks like FaZe are gonna get what they're looking for, they're gonna get this first point very, very quickly, and Bonifil being the last person, as usual, to die, and let's look, this is the key point, let's look at the ultimates, we have that Zaryol, we have the bread and butter, Shadowburn's gonna have a big opportunity to get this point. Huck, my body is ready for the strike back here. Can Shadow Bird put FaZe back in this game in a big way? Here he goes. Nano Blade at the ready, looking for those pickoffs. Not getting too much just yet. Stoop, though, does go down. The Graviton is out. Three kills here from FaZe. And oh my goodness, Huck, is this happening? It might be happening. That's four kills. Can they stagger out? That is the question. Fnatic having the D.Va ultimate. They do have a chance. They're going to switch up onto the May. They need to buy time. But time is ticking down. They're at two checkpoints. Can they do it? I don't know. Stoop goes in, immediately goes down. And FaZe on the verge of taking the second point just as easily as Fnatic did. Time running out for Fnatic. They are coming in with the stall. Hoping for the miracle, hoping for a pickup to pull this back, oh, but Stoop. they're so close right now. His face. Can they do it? Happy Cool still on the point. Stoop has ultimate. Is he gonna lay it down? He gets three. Can he bring it back? He gets another pick. He's staying on the point, trying to survive until his team can back him up. It looks like he's gonna buy enough time. It's so close. Cool man on the point. May. Can he stay alive? They're bringing this back. Fnatic with the phenomenal defense. I cannot believe what we just saw. ZP. They brought it back. Back. Oh my goodness, that was so close. And then Fnatic just a little bit better at stalling that out. And once you know where that was over, where Stoop hits a bigger side, oh and suddenly or Cool Matt just waltzes up in his new winter parka <laughs> because he's on May. And just like that, Fnatic has bought themselves a just insane amount of time here and phase gonna try and bring this back they do have another nano blade so here we go shadowburn into back line has one has oh. two immediately getting to work slicing and dicing and we're back in this position once more but that is a devastating way of opening this up yeah it looks like they're gonna close this one out but all in all great job by phase keeping composure not faltering they're gonna be down a minute it's not the most ideal situation but hey false guy we could go the distance here especially how these teams have been playing well, usually it's a little bit rare on Assault Maps to see crazy gaudy scores between <laughs> both teams. 10-10 ten, ten or something, we could see if the dream but, is alive. But right now, Fnatic, I, with six minutes left, they could absolutely go in here 
and immediately <laughs> take both points again. So I don't even know. This is this is kind of why I do like seeing Volsky in these situations. Rarely, I understand that but the players don't. They have their preferences and they like playing the maps they've practiced on. But as a spectator, this is actually pretty awesome right now between these both teams, and we'll see how things work out here. Now, note in terms of rotation because. Phase has less time. It's going to be Fnatic on the defense again. They're not swapping off with Max um. attacking or otherwise. So we get to see if Fnatic will have a better defense coming out this time around. And it's interesting to think about, like, FaZe has a lot of momentum, you know. Yeah, sure, Fnatic held him a lot of, a minute extra, but I just you. love seeing Let's Shadowburn. Every tempo. time, he's like an eagle. As soon as he hits up in the sky, he's a hunting bird that just comes down the falcon to pick off the mice. And he does such a great job when he takes that tactic. And it's something for players to take home back, you know, to, to wherever they play, whenever they're watching this. You get into those uh, pub matches. To, when you're on that Genji, to make sure to use that tactic, it gives you a lot of room. And when you get that blade, you get the resets to, you know, go an extra mile with another dash. So here's a question here from Fnatic is how are they going to deal with this defense? It does look like they're holding much further up right now where they're not going to give up the high ground early on. They're going to make phase actually fight for it. And I like this. Snoop goes into the early charge, but immediately flung through. Getting a charge back himself, but back to fiction can First of all, Shadowburn does find Vothful in the back, but overall, a 3-1 to one advantage here for Fnatic, and this will be a successful hold. And that's where it gets kind of tough. You know, we talk about that snowballing effect on these maps. When you get that first hold, that means you're going to have a little bit more ultimates, a little bit mm, going into this next fight. Even if FaZe take this next fight, even if Fnatic don't use their ultimates, that means it's going to be an even playing field for the second point, and very interesting to think about from a team perspective. And again, I just love this adjustment from Fnatic where they realized, hey, our defense to begin with here, we didn't have the right strategy. This time we're going to make them fight for every inch, and it's working out. Shadowburn right now having to worry about Buds, trying to build up the Dragon Blade. More is going on on the right side, but Stu does find Rockets in the party room, takes him out, and it's the deep dive of these Fnatic tanks that is pulling this fight for his Buds ends up with three before it is all said and done. Yeah, now you're starting to get a little worried. They're going to be extra aggressive here, finishing off Factor Fiction, not letting him get back, not letting him to get healed up. And on the right-hand side, Fnatic top right, Looks like Stoop's gonna have his Earth Shutter, Half Cole's gonna have his bomb, and Buds and Cole might gonna be up pretty soon as well. On the opposite side, only Shadowburn being close to that blade. That is an interesting phrase though. Only Shadowburn, yeah. air quotes. <laughs> Shadowburn, of course, would have his work cut out for him here. Uh, no doubt about it. It's not the biggest ult advantage, but there is always that puncher's chance. Fnatic right now, again, they are making FaZe pay for every bit of ground they want to get here, and it's draining a whole lot of time. As FaZe, they have to just fight to get into this first ground. Now they're split off, and here comes Mac. They see the oh. split as Shadowburn tastes the dirt. Yeah, Shadowburn getting slapped down by Stu once again. His arch nemesis piling through, and it's a full wipe. And they didn't even use that much. Like, realistically, they only use one I'm ultimate and you okay. wipe the complete opposite team. That is exactly what you're going to look for in these fights. This is where FaZe are going to have a decent chance, though. It looks like it's going to be five ultimates against four. The only one not being up for Fnatic besides what Stu just used is the Vonathil Lucio drop the beat. Let's see what they bring to the table here in this fight. This could be the game in series to find fight. Cool Matt, though, finds the flanking Graviton. Oh, the self-destruct in the back. Goodbye and good night. Three kills coming in from Fnatic off of that setup. But luckily for Facer Hook, they didn't burn many of their ultimates in that fight. Yeah, great setup by Cormac, to be honest. That is an all-star play. If we talk about that star factor, I feel like he's been the most consistent over time. Exactly what you're looking for, an opportunity for him. And I think it comes down to what you're saying, the positioning of this Fnatic squad, they've really adapted. They're not getting fancy. They're saying, you know what? We're just going to hold him at the most natural choke. Now, the interesting thing here is that this is still going to be a big old event for Faze, but no, Shadowburn slapped! Custa, the god! Goes full nap time on the Shadow Burn and creates an opportunity here. Stoop picks up two, has the Earth Shatter. Will he drop it right here right now? Could take out Shadow Burn. Not going to use it here just yet. But this has been a great defense for Fnatic. FaZe had so many ultimates here, and maybe they still take this Huck, but they're not taking anywhere near as swiftly as they wanted. Yeah, for the first time, FaZe picking up kills on this offense. They pick up two, and that means that the spawn point for Fnatic is so far, but it's not over yet. Factor Fiction only getting one. Custa going down. 
Stoop returning. He tries to charge. He oh, misses no. off the map. And it looks like off of that, FaZe are going to be able to take this. Uh, Stoop just a little bit too far. Was trying to take someone with him. Yes. FaZe now with the momentum they need. But what a great stall from Fnatic. Buying close to four minutes here on the first point. And in fact, if you think about how this map usually works, that was very close to a full first point hold. Yes. FaZe actually had more time than you normally get for first because of how quick they capped second. Yes, that's completely true. But as we talked about earlier, going into the second point, you look at what they have. They do have that very easy combo with the blade off of Shadow Burn and Rockus' Nana Boost, as well as the extra buffer coming from that Lucio. Will it be enough? We're going to have to see. This is definitely FaZe's best chance coming up right here. But Fnatic, they have the tools to stall this out. Remember, FaZe has to follow this victory this. Kind of hard when you have a self-destruct in your face, but here comes Shadowburn. Backline enabled. Grabs Bonifil immediately. Looking for a little bit more. Slicing, dicing. Has to put the blade away and runs right in the buds here. Will take him out before it's all said and done. This is pretty good here from FaZe to start with. They've only lost one. Half the cold doesn't quite get what he wants, and it's a full wipe. So, Can FaZe in good position, but Fnatic, we know how they can stall. They will have a chance to come back out here, and Kulmat does have that Graviton. Yeah, Kulmat and Kasa are going to have his as well. Looks like they're going to stall a little bit. Stoop getting an early pick. That's a missed position by Forsaken. They're going to pop that Zarya all, and it looks like they're going to get a lot of people. FaZe turning up, getting three more kills. It's fairly even right now, but it looks like Fnatic are going to hold, and that might be it. There's only 10 seconds left on the clock. That is very likely to be it, and that was the case where even though it looked so good for FaZe, they lost one person in that initial push, and it let Fnatic come right back in. They still had the Graviton. They had enough time to stall it out, and FaZe gonna have to settle for just three points here in Volskaya. And now Fnatic, they have a great opportunity to make this map their own. Yeah, you gotta feel really good right now to be in Fnatic's position. You're in the driver's seat. You control your own destiny. You have six minutes. At the worst, you can get one and like maybe you choke completely and it's horrible, but you're still gonna tie. I think in general, Fnatic gotta feel really good right now. Absolutely, and again, for Fnatic, the worst case scenario for them here is almost certainly going to be a tie. For FaZe to come out and have a six minute defense <laughs> on point A, 50% more time than what you usually have on one of the hardest, not the hardest first point defense maps in the game. That does not seem very likely. So Fnatic, to some extent here, playing with the house money. The question is, though, how quickly they'll get point A. If they can get point A on first or second attack and have over five minutes left for last, that's actually very big. Yeah, and it's, it's mostly going to be on that second point, having the right ultimates at the right time compared to that FaZe Clan squad. In general, we've seen them do a great job. I mean, Custa so far in this tournament, been playing beautifully, not only once. We've seen it, I think, at least three or four times in this match specifically, shutting down that Genji and Stoop as well. You think about what's bringing to the table from the space squad, the space squad Shadowburn being such a big factor, they've countered him perfectly and put a lot of priority in shutting him down. The key thing to note, though, is that even as they're shutting down Shadowburn, at least is opening other opportunities yes. to phase. Like, I feel like Too Easy overall has had a much better series thus far. But part of that is that when you're so worried about Shadowburn, it lets other parts of phase do their job. But here we go. First fight underway here for Fnatic. Five minutes, 42 seconds underway. And they're just coming from the ground floor and gonna let Buds look to bring someone down to them. Or half a cool on the boop, and there it is. He finds Reinhardt. The fight will be taking place on ground level. Yeah, Factor Fiction being very deep, and this forces base to drop down. It's going to be a very sloppy fight. You can see Rock is only the person on the high ground trying to support his team. Very interesting that both sides are mixed and matched, but it looks like FaZe are going to come out on top. They got three picks so far, and this is exactly the start you need as FaZe. If you lost the big fight here, you're almost certainly going to lose this map, but they still have a while to go. One minute off the clock, five more to go, ZP. And Huck, how much time does Fnatic lose here if they lose the next fight, knowing the ultimates that FaZe is about to get up? Minute, minute and a half, it's really their mindset. I would love to see Fnatic to come back hard and fast and say, you know what, let's get those ultimates out of the way, let's be very aggressive, and if they lose a fight, great. If they don't, let's make them burn as much as possible. All right, Fnatic coming in here through the high ground on the right side, looking to just power their way through this. Of course, they are running Diva, Reinhardt, Roadhog, and the early hook coming in here from Buds does not immediately result in a pickoff, but FaZe definitely getting out poked. Factor Fiction going to be first to fall, and Fnatic coming in strong right now with the 65. Another hook from Buds. Shielded off, though, by Zox. It's a nice shield. We'll see if it's enough as Shadowburn brings the blade and is looking to turn this the other way. Yeah, and Buds is hunting him, trying to find him, and he's not going to get him. Shadowburn being very slippery, poking around, and you got to feel like that was a lost opportunity by Fnatic. 
Butts got the nano boost while he was chugging, breathing for air, healing up. Shadowburn actually dropped to almost one third HP, and that was mainly off of that na that Ana grenade. So a great job by Custa once again, but he could not get a grasp on that slippery, slippery Genji. Indeed, and also Zom's a really yes. nice shield to keep too easy alive there. That was almost certainly going to be a bad time for too easy. Fnatic coming in once more, but Zom's now he has the answer. He has the key. He can graviton Fnatic as they're stuck in this very tight area. Fnatic and might even be able to ban out a sound barrier if the cards play right. So Fnatic has to be careful not to waste too many ults here, especially if Zom's does get that good initiation. Yeah, let's see how aggressive they are. And they've switched positions. A great hook. Cool Matt dropping down, forcing Fnatic. Too easy, gonna clean him up. They're gonna be up one member. I'm not sure how this fight's gonna go. And right now, this fight is Fnatic still going in, but I don't know if they're getting best ultimates into this. They're already down one. I think they're just trying to build their war chest here. But Faze being very composed. They haven't yeah. used anything. Yeah, and uh, Happy Cool. Uh, I'm not sure if he used Elder or not. I think he just might have gotten knocked out of his mech. He actually, I think, did save his self struck. Yeah. So, Charging. Fnatic, pretty obviously, after they lost Cool Mad, they're just going to hold on and wait for everything to be up here. But how big would this be here? FaZe has just as many ults. If Fnatic tries to match power for power here, Huck, and loses, the dream of a first point hold here for FaZe, which would be the longest full sky of first point hold ever, <laughs> is alive. Yeah, let's let's get sloppy here. Six ults versus six ults. It's gonna be interesting. Actually, Custom might not have his in time, but this is gonna be very interesting. FaZe, so composed here, not burning anything in the last fights. They're putting themselves in great position. Cool right now, about to get that Graviton. This is going to be a slobber knocker if there was one. Six ults be six ults. The Graviton comes in from Cool Mat. Half a gold drops the bomb right behind it. Takes down Factor Fiction. It's two quick kills here coming out here from Fnatic, and that's a good start. FaZe burning their ultimates as well, but there's the Earth Shatter from Stoop. That is going to let Fnatic win this fight. The ultimates have been used. Fnatic stands victorious. They stand victorious. The only person holding on to theirs is Factor Fiction. Three minutes off the clock, though. Now, Fnatic, only two minutes left. To be honest, you're not happy with that first point if you're Fnatic. You're saying, hey, we invested everything, and we barely got it after three minutes. They're going to have two and a half, 30 seconds being added after you cap it, and they're going to say, you know what? Curveball time. We don't have this match just yet. <laughs> half equal, get on that fair, get in the sky. Let's see what you can do. And the Farah is actually a very nice pick here for what FaZe is running. I don't think FaZe really can swap off in response to this. If they're checking the hero compositions, they would know that's there. Of course, now they're getting rocketed, so of course they know. Yes. But here comes Fnatic. They're rolling right in. Factor Fiction does have the Earth Shadow to help pop up the defense a little bit more. But look at this. He's going to force him the Ice Block as Fnatic starting to apply pressure to this point. And they get Forsaken early on, so 6v5. A good start to this for Fnatic. Yeah, but they're burning time. You see that Maywall saying, you know what? We just need to fall back. We have the time to stagger. Big Earth Shadow coming out. Knocking out two. Looks like FaZe is going to go up two kills. Happy Cool going to even the field. 4v4, too easy. One more on the board for FaZe. And the respawn point is so close. You got to start looking at the clock. One and a half minutes left. Too easy. More and more kills. He's going to pick off that Pharah swatting him to the ground. And now you're looking at this time and you're saying, hey, we don't have much. It'd be interesting to see if Chase adjusts. I don't think Shadowburn did a great job on May, but that wall to stall out time to put up, you know, another Reinhardt shield that just doesn't break. Great choice by him. Very, very tactical. Absolutely. Now for Fnatic, this very well could be their last attempt. It's a, such a long walk yes. from first to second here at Volskaya. So Fnatic have to make this count. I think their ideal situation here would be to get that Graviton into Barrage. Cool, Matt. And that's what he's looking for right now. He's looking at his poke that he's going in. He's just trying to get that last little bit of ult charge. And there it is. Uh, not quite there yet. I think he thought he had it. Fnatic starting to engage. And cool, Matt almost certainly saying, guys, wait, wait. Don't have it yet. Still trying to get it. <laughs> Still trying to get it. Doesn't have the Graviton. And this is a pain no. sign. Finally, the Graviton comes out. Half a cool. Did not get quite the fall through he's looking for. And I don't know if this is enough for Fnatic. Yeah, they get an extra kill. They're up one person, but they're going to be countered. And huge oh. combo coming out. Faye's going to be able to clean up here. And that's exactly what they needed. 20 seconds left on the clock. Will it be enough? And for Fnatic, it very well might not be enough time for them to get back here. It might have been enough for FaZe. 14 seconds remaining. I think Fnatic might be able to touch the point, but that was certainly their best opportunity. Now they have to just roll in, hope that no one <laughs> dies, and get in on here. Five seconds left. They still need to touch this here. Can they touch it? It's two yeah, seconds. Yeah, He's yeah. going to touch. Stoops on the point. This is going to be the last fight. And here they go. Buds right now coming in. Does have the plus bomb at the ready. Rock has finds Bothell immediately. The Earth Shatter from Stoop doesn't do too much. Buds tries to fall through on it. 5v5 right now on the point. 
too easy though. Getting cleanup kill after cleanup kill. The soldiers of Fnatic are falling right now. And this very well could be it. We could have ourselves a draw as phase. Oh Gets all the cleanup that they're looking for. What an amazing match. Phase coming up so big there. And you gotta really wonder for Fnatic, a team that is generally so composed, so on point. We saw Happy Cool run in at the end, drop the barrage, but it was a second too early. Cool Matt, you know, we were calling it, we're like, any second now, any second now, <laughs> any second now. He couldn't hit anybody on phase, and the Zarya came out a little bit too late. The yeah. Nana Boost was wasted, the barrage was wasted, and there was nothing there when the Zarya ult finally came.